The Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has experienced extreme changes since the eruptions, even a dramatic drop in numbers, which is no surprise. Sarah Madison joins us now with more. Sarah? Joe, two other national parks on the Big Island were also impacted, but Hawaii Volcanoes National Park saw the biggest drop because of the eruption. The Hawaii Volcanoes National Park draws visitors from all over the world. Before the Kilauea eruption, the park saw an average of about 5,000 visitors a day. For four months, they had to turn visitors away for their safety. There were 1,116,000 visitors last year. That's down 44 percent. We're told now that the natural structure of the park has changed because of the eruption and earthquakes. The daily average has fluctuated. Management in the park thinks that we, we may see lower numbers again this year. Certainly not 44 percent lower because we, we plan to be open. But because the absence of that red lava, that could impact our visitation. But a lot of visitors are kind of liking that quieter experience now. Certain locations aren't as crowded. You're finding a little bit more solitude than you did before. And we have these amazing new views of Hale Ma'umau. You can actually see where Crater Rim Trail fell into the crater. Now, during the government shutdown that started in December and ran into the earlier part of this year, the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park was able to stay open with limited services. Here on Oahu, the World War II Valor saw an 8% drop in visitors. Overall, the number of visitors to national parks in Hawaii dropped 19% last year. Back to you, Joe.